What is going on YouTube fam? Welcome back to The Organized Millennial. Today I'm gonna to be checking in for week two of October. Y'all know the drill. I pretty much take you guys through my expenses for the week and I track them using these expense trackers that you guys see here that are from Ambitious Mimi, who's absolutely lovely and is here on YouTube. You guys should go and check her out. And she also has her own shop. She was lovely and sent these to me. And then these no spend stickers that you guys see here are from Erica Life Vlogs. And as you can see, I do a little bit of color coding. So the peachish each pinkish expense trackers track my cash envelopes, yellow tracks my online and debit card purchases, green tracks my sinking funds, and red tracks my unbudgeted. And of course, no spends are self-explanatory. Um, so today we are gonna be tracking from the 12th through the 18th of October. And you guys, October is expensive AF. Okay, um, like I don't even know why. Like your girl spending money like you would think she's printing it in the basement, but I promise you, she ain't. She, not even close, um, not even close. We're also not gonna talk about how my nails just, just don't wanna be done, because I just don't wanna do them. Um, but I think I'm gonna bite the bullet and go get them done, maybe even today, so that I, you know, stop looking like a hot mess. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. So on the 12th, Monday, I got some sushi from a place nearby that I've had before. We've had it before, but just for like the food, um, like the Japanese food, like your typical like fried rice and stuff like that. We never got the sushi from there. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try the sushi. And yeah, it was so good. It was so good. I'm like so glad to know there's some good sushi near me. Cause usually like that's a trip out to the city if you want some good sushi and pff, ain't nobody trying to do that in these COVID times. Ain't nobody trying to do that in these COVID times. So I am like all the way here for that sushi place. So it was super good and I spent $34.64 there. So I'm marking it as a debit online purchase. That was it for the 12th. Then on the 13th, what did I have going on? More yellow. <laughs> I got more food, obviously. Look at that, what a shocker. <laughs> I spent $24.70 on Uber Eats. I don't even remember what we got. Probably McDonald's because I'm, I like it way more than I should. Um, yes, it's fine, you can judge me. Um, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it is fine. Um, and I also got some, I think I got some stickers from this shop on Etsy. It's Style Planner and I spent $18.42 on that one. And that was also on the 13th. Okay, cool. So those are good. The 14th was a no spend, and I'm pretty sure it's the only no spend that we have this week, you guys, because, <laughs> friends, there was a, the ultimate planner sale was going on this past weekend. <laughs> Wait till I get to the weekend. Oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all might disown me because it's sad. Um, the, <laughs> the 15th, um, what happened on the 15th? On the 15th, I got, I don't know why, but I guess I got McDonald's again because that's just the life that I live. And I spent $21 and 15 cents. You guys, I just got distracted because I was getting a call and I'm pretty sure it's a scam call because I've been getting a thousand of those and I'm kind of over it at this point. Like. I need y'all to buy yourselves whole lives, 
please, please. <laughs> I ain't got the time to entertain y'all. Um, okay, so that was it for the 15th, which was payday, so that's not too bad. Um, then Friday was the beginning of the ultimate planner sale, you guys. So, yeah, well, we might as well get started. Um, I'm, I'm just going to write them out and I'll be back to show you guys the damage because that's how much it is. So, all right, you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are probably not all going to fit on Friday. So here we go. So I, oh, I lost my mind. So I got... stickers from all the shops that you see here. So Sugar Pop Fizz was $16.14. See Amy Draw was $20.96. Bean Sprout Paper Co. was $17.50. And I think I'm going to have to spill into Saturday. Um, Tempest Design. This was all on Friday, you guys, but there's not enough space for my ratchetness so um scribble prints co was 33.85 and shop with anna which actually is shop with anna east but the little like character that they use her name is anna and she's so stinking cute and of course i had to have it so that was 36.08 spc was 33.85 and temptus design was six dollars and ninety cents yeah, I have no excuse. I, I've got nothing. Um, let's see what Saturday was since all of this is Friday. So since Saturday is packed with Friday's transactions, I'm going to try to fit everything I have left into Sunday the 18th. So I made a, don't ask, like don't even, yeah. Um, I made a trip to Target and I got mostly grocery and household stuff like foil aluminum foil what else did I, what else did i get my god um other household things that i can't think of sponges like things like that um and that was 46 36 that was from saturday that was it from saturday and then sunday i did my hair or yesterday because today is Monday <laughs> yesterday I did my hair and that was $20 and then we did we had dinner with one of our friends which is a little spontaneous they were there were not plans to do that but I did have my fun cash envelope so I was able to do it and let's see we went to eat at 110 grill and it was $30 for that. And it was kind of crowded. Me and my boyfriend had gone there previously. Um, I think it was on like a Thursday or, or Friday or something. So it was, all, it was much quieter. Uh, so we were not expecting like how many people were there. <laughs> um, yesterday when we went, there was a lot of people. Um, which I didn't love, but we had a good time. And it was nice to get out since that's kind of rare these days. Um, so yeah, it's been quite a week. <laughs> it's been quite a week, y'all. I only have one lowly no spend, one. And for this month so far, what about we're halfway through this month basically. I have a total of four no spends, you guys. Like, this is the lowest it's been. So unless I make a crazy comeback in these next two weeks, which I doubt, October is shaping up to be an expensive one. Now it's time for the moment of truth when I actually update my amounts in my weekly check-in. So let me go ahead and flip on over to that and we'll go over where we are at. So I just listed out my categories and my week that I'm tracking. So let's go ahead and update our amounts in our categories. So this was a pay week. For those of you who are new to the channel, I do go ahead and zero out my 
cash envelopes once I start paycheck one. And paycheck one is usually in week two of my check-in. So I'm not carrying over any of these amounts and we are starting fresh, funky fresh. Um, so um, groceries has $200, starting with a fresh 200. Um, and if you guys are wondering like what I do with the extra funds, they usually sit in my account as a buffer, which is how I can cover overages in my budget, you know, like this weekend, for example, where I'm sure I'll be over budget. Um, so groceries got 200, gas got $50. Um, beauty got 75, yeah, beauty got 75 dollars. And spending got 100 when I feel like I probably should have given it 150 but it's fine. Um, and we don't budget anything for unbudgeted, obviously. Okay, so let's go ahead and count out where we are out, y'all, where we're at. So let's do groceries first. I spent 46 36 so that's gonna leave me with 153 64 um, gas I did not spend anything in this week so that is going to stay at $50 beauty I think just has the $20 for my hair so we spent $20 in beauty this week, which I think leaves you with 55, yep. So that's gonna leave me with $55. And then s spending, here we go. <sighs> All right, spending is gonna be a bit. So let's see, we had 1842 from Style Planner, 2115 from McDonald's, 1750 from Bean Sprout, 2096 from C. Amy Draw, 1614 from Sugar Pop Fizz, 690 from Temptus Design. Oh my gosh, you guys, like I'm just, just over budget, just. Um, so I spent a total of 10107. <laughs> like just. So I am technically over budget by a dollar and seven cents. All right, I'm not even gonna be mad at myself for that because that's like literally a dollar and seven cents. But I did go ham with my sticker purchases, like ham, um, which is a hot mess, but y'all know who I am. So <laughs> uh, we had no unbudgeted, so that's a win. You guys, I did a full outro of this video. Like I ended it, I was like, this is great, I'm done. And then I realized that I never checked in with my cash envelopes because I'm so used to them being cashless. So why don't we go ahead and do a little bit of that? Um, sorry about that, y'all. So let's make sure our amounts are correct in here. So for groceries, we should have 153.64. So let's make sure that's what we indeed have here. So we have 50, 100, 150, 151, 52, 53, and then we should have 64. So 50, 60, and four, perfect. So grocery cash envelope is looking good. Um, I will be using it again soon, so I'm glad it's still pretty funded. That makes me happy and less panicky and less anxious. So Christmas, I mean, Christmas, really? Wow. Grocery. <laughs> uh, there's not enough coffee in the world to get me through today, you guys. Like, um, your girl, like, I slept, I think, like, three hours or four hours, and yeah. <laughs> so my bad, y'all. Um, gasoline didn't get used, so there should still be 50 in this baby. So 20, 40, and 50. So gas is good. Um, beauty 
did indeed get used. So there should be 55 left in beauty. So 20, 40, 50, and five, perfect. And then spending is actually the only cashless cash envelope. Um, and the reason for that is that I'm doing the majority of my spending online, so there really isn't a need for me to stuff this cash envelope. Um, it's sealed. Um, yeah, I'll fidget with it later, but there's nothing in it anyway. You guys can see there's nothing in it, so. Um, yeah, so those are my cash envelopes. So we're on track, we are good. Um, obviously I was over by a dollar on spending but i'm not kicking myself because with the amount of freaking stickers that i purchased i thought i was going to be way more over budget so a dollar and seven cents is really not that bad and all of this is considering the fact that erica hasn't released her december budget kits yet and i'm like holding out i'm eyeing another shop to try but every time I do it, she comes out with them and I'm like, oh my God, I need those. So I'm really, really trying to hold out before purchasing my budget kit for December. So anyways, now we can go ahead and end the video for real. Let me bring you guys back to the calendar view. All right, you guys, so everything is tracked. I'm gonna update my sinking fund since I used part of that when I do my budget closeout. So, cause I know I'm gonna have to white out and in case I use any other sinking funds for the rest of the month, I can just go ahead and do all the white outness at that time. So, <laughs> so let's go ahead and check these off cause these have all been tracked except the sinking fund. So I'll probably leave that one unchecked so that I don't forget to track it when the time comes. That is week two, you guys. I'm not even sure what kind of whirlwind like I am dealing with at the moment, but this is, this is week two. Um, and October's kind of expensive, but I'm kind of enjoying October, I gotta be honest, even though I'm spending way too much money. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, that has been my weekly check-in for the second week of October. Guys, let me know down below if you guys are spending like you are printing it in the basement like me because I just need to feel like I'm not alone here <laughs> because this is wild. This is some wild times. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you go and make sure you subscribe for more budgeting and planning related content from your girl. You guys are the best. I will see you in my next one. Bye.